It's Wise Ones Entertainment TV, bitch. It's G Prospect in the motherfucking building. You know what I'm talking about. Man, today we're going to be talking about Lil' Key, bro. Rest in peace, Lil' Key. Uh, he was a YSL member that was uh, 24 years of age. He probably was one of the top three most talented out of Gunner and Yak. Um, it, man, YSL is going through a whole lot this week, bro. So, you know, it, it, you know, uh, prayers up for YSL, man. Everything, YSL is probably the most, one of the most talented, impactful uh, hip-hop labels in a long time, man. And uh, these youngsters, they, they're damn near, the, they, knew, they knew cash money. I mean, they're pretty much the new cash money. So, uh, it's, it's very sad. This is one of the worst falls from hip hop grace that I've ever seen. I mean, th these guys were making, I mean, they were pretty much, they they were the kings of the game. They was at the top of the game. I mean, these dudes, they were looked at higher, you know, as far as the rap game go, they were, they were like, like pretty much like Gucci man, 3-6 Mafia in their prime right now. You know what I'm talking about? So th these niggas was big, you know what I'm saying? Gunna just dropped the album this year that that rocked the whole damn industry, bro. So had everybody screaming push and pee, you know what I'm talking about? So it's very sad to watch these dudes fall down like that and then to hear Thug Lawyer talking about he in a dungeon and shit like that. It's fucked up, bro. And uh, rest in peace to little kid from from what I heard, there's not much out about how he died or nothing like that. We do know that he is one of the YSL members that was not charged in the RICO case. So, um, if he wasn't charged in the RICO case, so, and I don't think he was telling on him or nothing like that. So, I, I, I just think a lot of people out here have been talking about he was telling, but they speaking before a lot of shit come out. You know, just... Just chill, man. You know, don't don't go kick YSL while they down like that, man. Just you know, you know, pray for these uh, young boys. They, you know, you know. So you know, just get keep get uh, try to have a heart when you when you see people going through something like that. You know, because you could be going through that and you don't want nobody to kick you while you down. You know what I'm talking about? So, but I hate to say I told you so, YSL, and I don't want to be the one to be like that, but. At the same time, at the same time, y'all, you got y'all gotta clean it up a little bit, man. If y'all get out the situation, y'all gotta kind of clean it up, man. And watch what y'all be saying and stuff like that, man. So you know, you know, you know, the law is taking these rap lyrics serious in the bitch. You know what I'm saying? So you gotta kind of rap about something fake, man. Rap about something fake in the bitch. Yeah, rap about fake ass shit. You know what I'm talking about? You can't be talking about the real shit that happened. You know what I'm talking about? But uh, 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 rest in peace to Lil' Key. From what I heard, he supposedly had like a, a, a kidney or a liver condition. Uh, he either overdrank or overdosed. That's what's kind of going through the wire out here. So if I hear anything else, you know what I'm saying? I don't know if that's true or not like that. But if I hear anything else, I will update y'all, man. It's Wise Ones Entertainment TV. Thank y'all for listening. Make sure y'all like, share, and subscribe. It's G Prospect in the motherfucking building. Rest in peace to Lil' Key. Fuck with me. I'ma fuck with y'all niggas later. I'm out.